Hi to all, welcome to my fourth class on algebraic expression and identities. Today I am going to discuss standard identities. How will you multiply 3k plus y into 4k plus 2y? That is the mu multiplication of binomial by a binomial. Here, the first binomial having two terms. One is 3k, another is y. You have to multiply 4k plus 2 by both 3k and y. That we can return as 3k into 4k plus 2y plus y into 4k plus 2y. Now you know how to multiply a binomial by a monomial. You have to multiply 3k into 4k and 3k into plus 2y. So we get 3 into 4, 12, k into k, k square. So, 12, k square plus, then 3 into 2, 6, k into y, k y. So, you get plus 6, k y. Similarly, y into 4, k, that is, plus 4, k y or y, k. And y into 2, y, you can write it as plus 2, y square. Now, you can see, 6ky plus 4ky that you can 6ky plus 4ky that you can write it as 10ky so that is 12k square plus 10ky plus 2 y square is the answer can you find it x plus y into x square minus xy plus y square here a multiplication of a binomial by a trinomial. So here, first you have to multiply x square minus xy plus y square by x and then by y. Let us see how it is. First you can write it as x into x square minus xy plus y square plus y into x square minus xy plus y square. Now all the three terms you have to multiply by x. x into x square you can write it as x cube. So that is x into x square x cube, x into minus x y is minus x square y, x into plus y square is equal to x y square. Similarly, this you can write it as y into x square y x square, y into minus x y is equal to minus x y square, y into y square is equal to plus y cube. Now here you can find out some common terms, the, uh, like terms. Let us see what are they. Here x cube, you can write it as x cube. Now you can see, here 1 minus x square y, here also plus y x square. y x square and x, y, x square y are like them. So minus x square y plus x square y, it will be become 0. Now similarly, here one x y square is there, here minus x y square is there. So that also will become 0. So the remaining is plus y cube, that is x cube plus y cube. Now here is an equation, 2a plus 3 into a plus 1 is equal to 21. When a is equal to 1, what will happen to the equation? LHS is 2 into 1 plus 3 into 2 in 2 plus 1 that is that is 5 into 3 it is equal to 50 but here rhs is equal to 20 when a is equal to 1 lhs you are getting 50 that means for a is equal to 1 the equation is not true for a is equal to 1 what about when a is equal to 2 find yourself you will get lhs as 2 into 2 plus 3 into 2 plus 1 that is 2 into 4 plus 3, 7 into 3 is equal to 21. And here RHS also equal to 21. That means this equation is true when A is equal to 2. That is equation is not true for all values of its variable. Consider an equality m plus 1 into m plus 2 is equal to m, m square plus 3m plus 2. Now, when m is equal to 1, 
what will happen to both LHS and RHS? Do find yourself. LHS you will get it as 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2. That is 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Now what about RHS? Here m square plus 3m plus 2. Then put m, m is equal to 1 in that you will get it as RHS is equal to 1 square plus 3 into 1 plus 2. That is 1 plus 3 plus 2 again 6. That means when m is equal to 1, this equality becomes true. Then what about when m is equal to 2? Find yourself. LHS is 2 plus 1 and 2 plus 2. That is 3 into 4 is equal to 12. And RHS you will get it as 2 square plus 3 into 2 plus 2. That is 4 plus 6 plus 2 is equal to 12. Here also you are getting the same answer 12 when m is equal to 2. That means this equality is true for m is equal to 2. Now what about m is equal to 10? When m is equal to 10, LHS is equal to 10 plus 1 into 10 plus 2. That is 11 into 12, you will get 132. And RHS, 10 square plus 3 into 10 plus 2 is equal to 100 plus 30 plus 2, 132. That means for m is equal to 10 also, this equality becomes true. That means for any values of this variable m, both LHS and RHS will be equal. Such case, this equality we can call it as identity. That is, an equality true for every value of the variable in it is called an identity. Here you can see, an equation is true for only certain values of the variable in it. It is not true for all values of the variable. There are some standard identities. Let us have a look on it. Here you have a square of side A. What is its area? Yes, it is A square. Side into side. Now I take a rectangle with the length B and breadth is equal to the side of the square A. Now what is the area of this rectangle? Area you know it is length into breadth. So that you can write it as A into B which is equal to AB. Now in this rectangle, length is equal to A plus B, breadth is equal to A. Now I want to make this rectangle into a square. For that I am taking a rectangle of area AB and keep it in the top of the square of area A squared. So, now there is a small gap. Let me fill with another square. Now, what is the side of this square? It is equivalent to B. So, here the length is A plus B. Now, breadth also A plus B. That means, this one is a square of side A plus B. Now, its total area, that is A plus B, if A is the side, its area is A square. If A plus B is the side, then area you can write it as A plus B whole square. Now, this A plus B whole square, here it is equal to the area of this four parts. One, two, three, four. This area is equal to A square. The rectangular area is KB. And what is the area of this square? It is a square of side B, so its area is B square. So how will you get F, the area of the whole part? That is A plus B whole square is equal to add all these areas. That is A square plus AB plus AB plus B square. That is AB plus AB, you can write it as 2 AB. Therefore, A plus B whole square you can write as A square plus 2AB plus B square. Now let us multiply, check it by algebraically. A plus B whole square you can write as A plus B into A plus B. That is a multiplication of binomial by a binomial. That is equal to A into A plus B plus B into A plus B. A into A plus B is A square plus a, B, A into A square, A into B, A, B. Similarly, 
what is b into a plus b? It is b a plus b square. Now a b and b a are equal. So a b plus b a you can write it as 2 a b. So you will get a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square. A plus b whole square you can write it as a square plus 2 a b plus b square. That is first term square plus 2 into first into second plus second term square. There are many more identities that we will dis discuss in the next class. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.